Shalom. Kahalam Lila. Allah Hayinawa. Yahweh Bahashem Yahusha. Bahashem. Racha Hakadash double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well. Who taught me this truth. Love, respect, and salutations to the fellow Akim, the house of David, the hopefully elect. Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shabarakatam to you, Akim, as well as the sincere Agwa that are listening and learning. Yeah, this is your brother Yahweh Sop from the Birmingham branch coming to you again with this 100% doctrine. And uh, I got this article queued up by Fox News, which is today. All right, very fresh. Oh, my blasted for remarks about Jews in Congress. This is what a modern day Muslim supremacist <laughs> looks like. And we're talking here about the diabolical mindset, the liar, the deceiver. All right, <clears throat> Esau Edom pushing out rhetoric such as uh, Muslim supremacy. Okay? Out of all the atrocities and crimes against humanity, all right, this whole nation has, you know, put forth his hand against everyone on earth, including earth. You got the nerve to turn around and call people supremacists, terrorists, right? And we're going to get into it, man. <laughs> all right? We're going to get on into it, man. This is, uh, let's see. <clears throat> let's just start here. All right, and see what she has to say. Let's see where it's gonna take us. Twitter, okay. Check it out. It's real um, because it's quote all about the bench. Remind, run it, run it. There you go. And them in 2019, you said lawmakers. Uh, support uh, Israel um, because it's, quote, all about the Benjamins, which implies that politicians only support Israel because of money. There was a tweet from uh, 2012 when you said Israel had hypnotized the world. Do you understand why some of your fellow House Democrats, especially Jews, find that language anti-Semitic? I have welcomed any time, you know, my colleagues have asked to have a conversation, to, to learn from them, for them to learn from me. I think it's really important for uh, these members to realize that they haven't been partners in injustice. They haven't been, um, you know, equally engaging uh, in seeking justice uh, around the world. And I, and I think, you know, I will continue to, to do that. It is important for me as someone who, who knows what it feels like to experience injustice in ways that many of my colleagues don't, uh, to be uh, a voice in finding, finding accountability, uh, asking for mechanisms for justice for those who are maligned, oppressed, um, and who have had injustice um, done to them. Yeah, she she's right. She's uh, she's been you know through the trenches, man, uh, and she's seen the other side of what America pushes out. All right, by saying peace, all right, which is straight up war, and these people have got their panties in a bunch. <laughs> all right, check it. Check this out. One Twitter, you know, Avi Mayer, Omar's comments draw a classic anti-Semitic themes about Jewish. Uh, clannishness the notion that Jews only look out for themselves there are also plainly false Jewish lawmakers have been on the front lines fighting for human rights in America and globally who who rights you're fighting for other than your own this is uh, the scriptures man let the scriptures speak Psalms 58 and 2 yeah in in heart ye work wickedness Ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. So, yeah, in America and abroad, you weigh violence in your hands in the earth. But wait, there's more. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. And they can't help themselves. You can't have simple dialect, a dialogue with Esau Edom. You see? And when did they create, uh, uh, <clears throat> come back forth in their power? Covering the judges of the faces thereof. All right. During the rebirth. The renaissance uh, uh, period. You see. This is uh, Annika. Rothstein. All right. And these these pretty much are all so-called Jew people, man. Jewish. 
says, so Jews should learn from Ayan um, at Ayan, talking about Omar, what it's like to experience injustice. No one can ever say <laughs> Omar didn't show the world exactly who and what she is. No, you showed the world who you are, Esau Eden. All right? Let's get that. Uh, when you came back into power, right? This is Revelation 20 and verse 7. And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison. All right? And it goes to tell you that he's going to go out and deceive the nations again in the four corners of the earth. This is who we speaks of when we say, uh, 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 you know, they come out speaking lies as soon as they be born. All right. They came out that pit, <laughs> you know. They came from dwelling in the cliffs of the rocks to go out and deceive the nations once more, man. All right. And once you took hold of it, you pushed out this, this uh, conception that you are the true people of the living power, which is also false. Right? There's more. This is Arsa, uh, uh, Azra, nominee. She, she mentioned, this is what modern day Muslim supremacists look like. <laughs> Omar speaks to Jack Taper, uh, rebukes Jewish Democratic colleagues for f failing to be partners in justice. Her wound is bigger than their uh, wound. <laughs> A wound collected in the oppression Olympics. And, and see, and this is what they do. They push blame. You understand? They push blame. And they justify them own selves. And our people, uh, mainly, they justify them as well. All right? These damn uh, uh, diabolical people, man. All right? Th these, these lower, uh, lesser humans. You see, not even full, but they label you three-fifths of, uh, 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 of a man. Right? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Isaiah 5 and 20, woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. And this is what our people mainly do, man. All right? Just because it, uh, uh, you know, walks like a damn uh, dog, you know, when you get up on it, it's a motherfucking snake, man. <laughs> Shit. And that snake became a a, 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 a a great big old beast, man. A dragon, man. You see? Uh, Martin Klein. <laughs> this is wide open, man. You know, she, she's getting roasted over her Israel, uh, Israel uh, uh, remarks and U.S. remarks. All right? She's ignorant. Anti-Semitic. Here we go with that Semitic shit again. Which no one is Semitic, man. All right? That's a theory. All right? It says, supports BDS, says Israel uh, hypnotizes world, compares U.S. and Israel to terrorists, Taliban and Hamas. Yet Pelosi calls Omar a valued member of her party and refuses to criticize her. It's high time for her party to condemn her and remove her from every committee. See, when your true deeds are being exposed, when your skirt is being lifted, all right, by Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shai, all right, you people want to want to deflect the truth, critical race theory. Here we go with this, you know. No man, you gotta live up to what you have uh, 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 made up, man. You know, when you make your bed, you gotta lie in it, Esau. You the one dealt your birthright deceitfully. You the one sold it, okay, for some for some pottage, man, red pottage at that. Therefore, you are Edom. You see. But see, the Lord is breaking you down not only by uh, uh, his spirit, but by uh, uh, this truth mainly, man. And this is what uh, uh, is taking place on the earth, this truth. All right? And this truth is a sword, which is a gift from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. J. Uh, Sukalo. <laughs> yeah, all right? Omar is a repeat offender for <laughs> anti-Semitic rhetoric and is past due to be censored. And removed from committees. Recently, she went as far as comparing the U.S. and Israel to Taliban and Hamas terror. You are you you go out throughout the world, raping, robbing, and pillaging, and saying you discovered or trying to bring uh, uh, decent 
living or, or etiquette towards a people that don't even want you to be around. What you what else you bring? You bring diseases. All right. Uh, uh, if that country has resources, you 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 pay the uh, uh, top people in of the country off. All right, which really you're not paying them off. You you're basically putting them in debt. You see that, and this is why it turned from Exodus being a physical war with Amalek to to a spiritual war these days. This is uh, uh, Exodus seventeen and sixteen. For he said, because the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yamsha, has sworn that the Lord will have war with Amalek for generation to generation. Yeah, because Moses built that altar, man, when you read up. Verse 13, and Joshua discomfited Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. Now, this was on a physical uh, 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 level, man. But right now, it's, 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 uh, it's spiritual. Strong 20, age 25, 22. Kalash to be weak, prostrate, weakened, disabled. And this is what the scriptures is doing. All right. By implication to overthrow. You see? And this is what we're doing through the spirit of your how about Shem Yahweh Shah, man. Give me lead. Let's get, let's get that. Bell and the dragon. All right. Verse 26. This is in the Apocrypha. Verse 26. It says, but give me leave, O king, and I shall slay this dragon. You see how it became uh, uh, from a serpent, <laughs> that poisonous <laughs> serpent from Psalms 58, you know, to a dragon, man. It swelled, got big. It says, and I shall slay this dragon without sword or staff. The king said, I give thee leave. Hold on. Hey, hold that note. 2 Maccabees 2 and 15. 2 Maccabees 15, Salakia, and 16. Take this holy sword, a gift from the Most High, with the which thou shalt wound the adversaries. And this is why they're, you know, uh, they're back against the wall. This is why they're swinging, man. All right? They're just swinging at anything that say something. self making Mandel, every time this happens, a couple more people like this. That's it. I'm out. At some point, it just gets too exhausted to keep giving her mulligans. You see? So they're mad. They're upset that she's calling a spade a spade. All right? Again, we're not uh, uh, too far from the civil rights on how they treated our folks, man. And before then, how they lynched and hung our folks, man. And before then, when we was uh, slave uh, sharecroppers, man. And before then, we was full-blown slaves. Not to get in the shell. You see? That's it. I can't defend this. Matthew, <laughs> her primary challenger, will have my support next year. Really? <laughs> so so they are mad at uh, Omar, man. All right? And Omar just speaking the truth, man. And so are we. And this is why they censor things. Right? This is why they go to the extreme measures on spending countless billions of dollars on trying to hide and suppress information from the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American. So forth and so on, man. So rock 34 and 4 of an unclean thing, what can be cleansed? And from that thing which is false, what truth can come? So, there's is no variableness with the how about Shem Yom Shai. There's no changing. All right? What he have made crooked, that's going to stay crooked. No one can make that straight. All right? No matter how much uh, rehabilitation and uh, uh, you can even put this. We're going to put him in prison reform when the kingdom come. <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be a rulership. Uh, and it's going to have, we're going to have that bride of iron. All right? In our hand, man. And they, when they get out of line, we're going to bloop. We're just not having that for show. This is not, you know, nothing just to gloss over, man. Right? This is uh, Sirach 4 and 20. 28. It says, strive for the truth until death. Meaning, this is what we're here for. All right? We want the truth. The truth can be found within the scriptures. So we have to do this until death, man. All right? It says, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Uh-oh. 
See, that's another, boom. And the Lord shall fight for thee if you do this thing, man. You see? Hey, it's, it's a beautiful thing that we're a part of. We got to be thankful to Wadi Yahweh Shem El Shah for bringing us to this fold, right? And to continue on in this path. All right? Isaiah 46 and 10, declaring the end from the beginning, from the ancient times of things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. What is that pleasure of his? The truth that he's spoken of, that was prophesied. Okay? And let's end this off in second address. All right? And the Lord is going to do all his pleasure. Right? He declared the end from the beginning. Now we're at the end. All right? And we're at uh, we're at Esau's end and we're at our beginning. You know? This is this is some thing you got to take uh, uh uh you know, pride in, man. You know? This is second Edward 6 and 28. As for faith it shall flourish, and this is what's taking place. Corruption shall be overcome. Yep, that's happening as well simultaneously. And the truth which hath been so long without fruit shall be declared. You had these people running around um, uh, 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 the world shrouded in mystery, not knowing <laughs> who the conglomerates are, who the rulers that be are. Well, now you've been found out. There's been a checkmate in the game. Okay? And you have been found out for who you are. So, yeah, you're going to Scratch claw when you're back against the wall when you when you get hit with a, a grievous blow and you're wobbly. <laughs> you know, you you in discomfort, man. <laughs> but we ain't gonna stop, we're gonna continue to come, man. Alright. So with that, Lord Williams, edifying and comfort on to the next one. Shalom.